I was seven when I first started gymnastics. I was a very hyperactive child. I tried a lot of different sports, including swimming, ballet, horse riding, hockey, and I enjoyed doing them, but nothing really clicked. It was only when my dad's friend said, why don't you come along to gymnastics? And I did my first competition. I kind of thought, that's the stage that I want to be on. I first started training with Amanda when I was 12. I was not scared of her, but she was master and I sort of obeyed every command. Um, as I've got older, it's become more of a two-way relationship. If we're discussing a new routine, then she'll ask me, what do I think about it? Whereas when I was younger, she'd sort of say, these are the skills that you need to learn ready for competition. She came through the door already, you know, in sort of a regional competitions and had sort of nearly got on the national scene but wasn't quite there. But it basically, as soon as she walked through the door, after about a week or so, you just knew all she wanted to do was to please, just want to please you, give me more, and it's like all in the eyes, really, as in give me, give me, give me, and so you do. And that's what's helped us get as far as we've got, really. I get a lot of support both from the UK sport, my home club, my parents. After Beijing, a lot of people said, are you going to carry on? And my immediate reaction was, no, it's far too long away, four years. I'm not going to be able to continue training. I'm just lucky that I've got a good relationship with Amanda that's enabled me to do that. But there's still one dream I'm chasing, and I'd love to finish my career with an Olympic medal. It is just another competition and that's how we've got to deal with it. We're lucky enough that it is just another Olympics. It will be best third. Hannah's second and Jenny's hopefully first. The deal is to get them all there. Kind of constantly in the gym at the moment, to be honest. I kind of live here. Well, there's four pieces separate us. Normally we do all four in the morning and then in the second session we'll come back and do another session of bars and beam because they're the more technical pieces. Um, and then anything else Amanda wants us to do, like conditioning and kind of stretching, things like that. This is like my second home, really. I mean, I, I think I'm here more than I am at home because I train like over 30 hours a week, as does a lot of the other girls who are training for the Olympic Games. Amanda's a bit like sort of our second mum as well. I think we see more of her than our mums as well. So um, we've got to be close to get along. We support each other through, you know, when we have bad days or good days. So. Everyone wants that one of those five places in the team, but we are very supportive of each other. We spend a lot of time together. We're like sisters. Everyone knows each other inside out. If someone's having a bad day, you can cheer them up. Or if someone's too giddy, you can sort of bring them down. So I'd say we've got a very good team spirit. We'd be crazy if we weren't excited to be like have the chance to compete in Olympic Games in the home country. So um, the build up to that is like a slow progression, but every step of the way is important, and we're getting really excited now. I'm really excited. I mean, I think I'm going to see a lot more of it around. Um, I'm quite nervous, but I'm, I'm excited. All you want them to do is deliver what they deliver day in, day out, day in, day out. And at the end of the day, if they can do that, that's all you can ask of them. They've done as you've asked and you can be the proudest person at that moment in time in the world.